Alright guys, welcome back to Craft Abilities. I'm here with Ryan and Patrice. So we have a very special episode today. We got Ryan here. He's one of my students and he's very interested in learning about making t-shirts and starting a t-shirt business. And I brought along to, uh, what's her name? Right there, Patrice. So she's gonna help us <laughs> get Ryan started. He wants to start a YouTube, he wants to start a brand. And this is gonna be the first step. So what we're gonna do in this video is teach him a little bit about DTF printing. But first, Ryan, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Ryan, as everybody can see. I'm, I'm 16, I know I'm kind of confused, but I'm trying to learn something new. Okay. Um, and talk you, loud, you're not talking loud enough for me. Can you tell us some of the things you wanna learn? I wanna learn um, customizing shirts, DTR. D, D, wait, it's, Start over now. Wait, hold on, hold on. It's, it's fine. What is that? D, DTF. DTF. Direct to film. Uh, rhinestone, rhinestone and shirts, different things. This video is going to be our first step in the learning. So stay tuned, guys. All right, Ryan. So you know how excited and proud I am that you're taking this step. So today we are going to be working with DTF print. And I told you before, there's several different print methods. And today we are just going to focus on DTF. DTF stands for direct to film. And it really just means that we are printing directly onto a piece of film. So you see how this is just clear and shiny. That's the film, it's not like paper. So that's why we're saying direct to film. And so the printer printed onto this film it laid a layer of white ink on top, which you can apply this to any color, including black. And we put adhesive on the back of it, cured it, and so now this can literally stick onto any surface with heat. So that's what we're gonna do today. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. So go ahead and show everybody uh, the image we're gonna print. And shout out to Ryan's mama, she is a teacher. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> okay, so before we head to the heat press, I'm just going to explain a few things. So the beauty of this shirt is, or this type of print method, is that you can apply it to any type of color and more so off, also any type of material. So today we are going to be using a 100% cotton shirt and we are going to apply this with heat. Ideally, you want to explore different shirts that your colors look good on. White shirts, the colors always pop off of white shirts, and DTF, the print is typically vibrant, especially if you're, print it, you're printing it out correctly. But this is a 100% cotton shirt. You can use a polyester shirt or a blend shirt, which is a mixture of materials, cotton and polyester, but we're using 100% cotton. Alright guys, so we have Ryan and Patrice here and we are about to let Ryan press his first shirt. Very quickly, Ryan has access to this, what is this Cricut thing called? It's a Cricut Easy Press 2. So Ryan has access to a Cricut Easy Press 2, so that's why we decided to use it. Um, so Ryan, you're going to place the, the shirt on this heat pad right here. And Patrice, just help him out a little. Okay, just press it straight. Okay, look at you being very particular. So with the shirt, Ron, we want to do two things. Uh, we want to get out some of the wrinkles and we want to roll it, so lint roll it. So this is a lint roller and what this is going to do is just remove any lint. So you want to lint roll in this area where you're going to be pressing because you want the transfer to stick really, really nicely to the shirt. That's perfect. That's perfect. Awesome job. So now that we have the shirt lint rolled, let's go ahead and get out some of those wrinkles. So you want to pre-press the shirt. So you're going to take this and you're just going to press it down. And you want to just press it a few seconds in all the areas because what this does is it takes or removes the moisture out of the shirt. It also straightens the shirt out. But it removes the moisture out of the shirt so that when you press your transfer on top, it applies correctly, okay? So that is why we do 
a pre-press, a lint roll, and pre-press. So Ryan, if you look at the shirt, you can see how smooth the surface is where Patrice is done. And then if you look at the sides right here, you can see that it's kind of wrinkly. So that's the main purpose. So always, 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 no matter what you're doing, pre-press your shirts, okay? okay? So we have this teacher life image that Ryan's mom's gonna get. So Ryan, place it on the shirt for me. So one of the things we want to do is about three inches down from here. So I'll let you gauge what you think three inches is. Three you can do three fingers. Yeah, look at you. That's okay. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. And then make sure it's centered. Yeah, you want to make sure it's centered. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you some um, placement rulers, so that you don't really have to worry about that, especially starting out. Once you do this more, you'll be able to eyeball it. Trust me. That looks good. I think it looks great right there. What do you think, Ryan? Looks fine, Okay. All right. So our next step is to press the shirt. So, Ryan, you see the heat press there? Pick it up. So, before we go, we just know that the press is a little bit smaller than your image. So, you're going to have to press it multiple times. So, you want to make sure that you're pressing all parts of the design. And also, put a little bit of pressure. So, don't push down because you know these tables might buckle on you. Just push, give it enough pressure, okay? okay. Okay. Okay, go ahead and grab the heat press because I will take over. <laughs> and you always want to be very careful because the heat press, these presses. Drop it cool. right down. Yep, and then apply a little bit of pressure. Don't be scared to uh, put 20 pressure. seconds. How come the thing's not going? Oh, you got to press the C. Yep. Apply pressure. You know the pressure you put when you want me to go talk to your teachers? That's the type of pressure that we need. And yes. Just apply a little bit of, yep. And so it's gonna beep when it's done. And this is just a standard handheld uh, press. All right. So we're gonna pick it up and now move it to the next section. Yep. And then you're gonna have to get the other side. Okay. There you go, press the little green thing. Ryan, you're a natural. <laughs> You are doing great, Ryan. Yes. All right, and then you're gonna just apply over here. But when we use start using the larger heat press, you won't have to press so many times. One press is enough. All right. So it looks like with this shirt, we're gonna have two more presses. Yep. And then make sure you give it a little bit of pressure. Chief, say hi to everyone. Where are you? Hello, everyone. <laughs> the chief is still here. <laughs> chief. We got one more press after this. Okay. Ryan, you're doing a great job. And then we're going to let it cool down completely. Remember, this is a cold peel. So most DTF film, they're cold peel. Um, some are cold and warm peel, but this one is the glitter DTF film, and this one is definitely a cold peel. If you peel it up too quickly, it'll pull the, the print up. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so I'm going to let it cool off and then peel it. We'll help it out. Let's see, because it's hot. Don't touch, it's hot. Get you some heat gloves. <laughs> So this is the shirt so far. Ryan's gonna give it to his mama. Ryan, go ahead and peel. So you can just start here and just kind of peel it going in a downward motion. Don't go too fast, because just in case it didn't all peel. So just start mm. peeling it back. Just go a little quicker than that. Okay, so I want you to feel, oh, are you recording now? Yep. Okay, so I want you to feel how this feels. So you see, you can kind of feel it. It's not really into the shirt that much. 
but it's there. So the last thing for us to do now is to press this one more time, but you only have to press each section about 10 seconds, okay? And we put the parchment paper there, that's to protect your press and also to protect the print, so. And how long are we gonna do? Only about 10 seconds. So you can just like press it and then move from one to the next, apply a little pressure. Not have to be too much, but, and then move it after. So you can move it. And then you're gonna go over there. Ryan. Thank you. Then one more go. All right. All right. Ryan, you have created your first shirt. Oh, no, so everybody can wait. feel it. So now feel it. Do you feel this number? Do you feel the difference from that first press and now? Yeah. So now it's really into the shirt. That's why the second press is really important. That really helps it to really like gel with the shirt. So Ryan, really quickly, I know you have to go. How hard was it to make your first shirt? Oh, not hard at all. It was very easy. And is this something you want to keep doing? Of course. All right. Look how happy Miss Patrice is. I am very happy. I'm very proud.